Hey there everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to modify the background and foreground properties of your application. So how to define a background image, a foreground image, a background gradient and much more. Let's dive directly into it. So the first thing I'm going to do for my terminal is to install the latest FET version. And as you can see, it says requirement already satisfied. You can check which version of FET has been installed by typing it FET version. And you can see I have the latest third version at the time I'm recording this video, which is 0.24.0, the latest release. From here, I'm going to use the flat create to create a new project, app background and foreground. And you can see the files have been created. We have this main.py over here. We have the assets directory and so on. This is our basic or simple application. And to run the application in hot reload mode, you can use this command over here. So flat run and the name of the newly created directory. Or you can navigate into the directory or into the project root. And then from here, say flat run. I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller and have it here. So you can see when I'm using the IDE, the page cannot stay on top. So I'm going to modify the application over here and say page.window so that the window should always stay on top as we are modifying the application. And you can see the application is on the top. So whatever we do over here, the application is always on the top. Okay, so I'm going to close this terminal and close this one. So to define the background image or to modify the background properties of your application, all you have to do or all you have to specify is the page to decoration. So you can see we have decoration and foreground decoration. So decoration is the background decoration of the page and foreground decoration is obviously the foreground decoration of the page. So we're going to start with decoration, which lives under the page controls. So decoration, when moving on it, you can see the type, it is of type box decoration. And from here, when you hover on box decoration or you press command click, or command B, you can see it has the image. It has an image property, which is of type decoration image. You can specify the border, the gradient, and so on. So the first thing we're going to specify is an image. For that, we're going to say image, decoration image, as we saw, or you can hover on this image and you're going to see the type. And from here, we can look at the definition. You need to specify the source or the source basis before. So the source of this image, because we are going to be using a URL, the source of this image, I have this image from Onsplash, which we are going to use. And let me just save it. So this background image we just specified cannot be shown as you can see and this is simply because we need to make the page to BG color transparent. When you do this, you can see your background image showing up. So at the moment it is really kind of weird because normally the background image is supposed to fill up the whole application. So I'm going to add a new property inside this decoration image which is the fit. So when you specify cover, it takes up the whole page. So this is how we specify the background image of a flat application. But where is our text? Let's make the text a little bigger in size. So let's say 50. And you can see the text is still there. I don't know if you can see it, but the text is still there. The color of this text doesn't match with the color of the background image. So there's kind of a conflict. That's why we cannot really see this text very well. So if you want, you can modify the color. So let's say red. Save it and you can see the text is still there or you can simply reduce the opacity of this image. So let's say something like 0.2 and you can see the background image kind of leaves behind and we have our hello flat showing up at the front. So it really depends on what you're trying to achieve. But those are the two ways I thought of in order to better see your page controls. Okay, so what we can do now is to specify a gradient. In this case, a linear gradient. So save this. Let me remove this color. And you can see it starts from here, so at the top left and ends at the bottom right. And we have our two colors showing clearly. Now let's look at the foreground decoration. And to look at it, I'm simply going to modify this. So instead of page.decoration, I'm going to say page.foreground decoration. Save it. And you can see this time around the text has completely disappeared, which is simply because the foreground decoration lives on top of the page controls in contrast to the page decoration which lives underneath the page controls so you might ask we've defined an opacity so we've given the image an opacity of 0.2 but why is it still not visible it is simply because in the gradient we are using solid colors red is a solid color blue is a solid color for this reason we cannot see what is underneath if you want to see what is below it you can define it by using this width opacity helper method you specify the opacity so let's say 0.2 and the red color we had at the beginning so let me save it you can already see this section of the application but this section is still solid and over here i'm going to do exactly the same things 
save it and you can see the colors now have an opacity of 0.2 so now we can clearly see the page controls which are underneath the foreground decoration and you can also see from here that if you allow the default opacity so opacity of one to the image you can see the image is covering up everything so you can equally not see the page controls which are underneath the foreground decoration so in this case you equally have to reduce the opacity of this image so when you reduce the opacity of the image you can see your controls again so that's quite it so just to recapitulate we are defining the page dot foreground decoration or decoration properties which are of type box decoration Inside this box decoration, you can specify the image, you can specify the gradient and some other properties. Inside this image, you can specify the source or the source with 64, depending on the image you have. And most of the time, you need to specify this cover. So let me comment it out so you can see. Without this cover, the image is kind of in the middle. So if you don't use proper images, they are not going to be visually appealing. So for that, we use this cover so that I should fill up the whole page here we reduce the opacity this is what you might want to do in some cases so it really depends so you really you really have to play with all of these properties here we specify the gradient and uh, we specify over here transparent colors so if you use solid colors as I said before the foreground decoration so this is the case of the foreground decoration only so when using solid colors the foreground decoration is going to completely cover up your controls which are found underneath the foreground decoration so you need to specify kind of transparent colors so that you can still see what is below it so it really depends on your use case so that's it on my medium page you can see the release announcement concerning flight version 0.24.0 and uh, here i clearly explain all what has been added into this new version so give this article a check when creating multi-page applications you are going to be using views and they equally have these two properties so the container has new properties which are the foreground decoration and the background image we just saw a while ago and the foreground decoration you can use it to define your foreground properties all right guys so we've come to the end of today's video i really hope these two properties that i took my time to introduce help you in building more beautiful and visually appealing applications don't forget to like this video if you found it interesting and useful and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thanks for watching this was the ethical boy